Jalawam, the Asherala. Before we go into this lesson, we give all honor and all glory and all praises to Yahweh, so Kal Halaliam, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Rakakodash. We give double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of JMS Camp, but to us Great Millstone for the bring for the 100% truth that we have been currently edified under. Shout out to the elect, Tabernacle of David, and I'm your boy Kazak, bringing on to you this beautiful lesson. <laughs> And this morning, I shared this video with um, one of the Akims, um, Nakat, Nachaat. If, if I pronounce it wrong, please help correct me, right? You know how my pronunciation is be. But um, it was funny because obviously it looks to be a meme, but at the same time, it was kind of on point because um, I believe Putin did release that video, that um, video of was, was which was done before has been publicly released at that time, as we know, right? And what the, put, what the videos put together upon, which the title would show, is what make me laugh, right? Um, I'll grab it one time. It, it, it's this one, basically. <laughs> I'm going to go into it. If I could, can I? Damn. I'm a, I'm a, my, my WhatsApp like it's sticking. Press that again. All right. The fact that they chose to do that on Easter, the no, Bible was. This, as you see, yeah, people burning the Bible, people burning Bibles, they found out that the Messiah is melanated, right? And obviously, this looks to be somewhat of a, I would say, something different than the actual story, but who knows it could be true. But I've heard on TikTok and seen with my own two eyes of people on TikTok. Turning away, he saw people turning away from the truth. All of a sudden, so it burns them. We know it burns them inside to know that the most that, that the Most High and His Son, right? His Son Yahweh was shy, Hamashiach, not that JC or what they call him, but they call him Earth Pig and Don. But Yahweh was shy, Hamashiach is a Negro man. From the tribe of Judah. So it just, it makes it made me laugh watching this. Very in your face. Pastor Greg Walk with Global Vision. And to make it worse, honestly speaking, is what, <laughs> is what he said. I love how they're trying to deflect like it was a response to Harry Potter books. It says, I'm getting burnt now. Um, Yahweh Shai is black. They no longer the fact oh, that they chose to do that. I press the back accent. Yahweh is black. They no longer um, need the book after learning that. Now, let me read it. <laughs> fact that they chose to go after Targeted. The Sunday morning, he recounts surveillance footage showing a trailer full of Bibles. He estimates roughly 200 being driven to the intersection in front of his church, doused with gasoline, and lit on fire. His security team would not share the video with us. <laughs> hey, watch me. This man made me laugh real hard this morning for that one. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I know he explained to me even more that there is a, mo a, a whole movement to prove that he is white and another, and another to prove that he is Middle Eastern. He says, he, him, these heathens are true. Bro, like, but when it come on, that's why I say it's already too late. It's, it's, uh, his description is in the Bible. You can't change it. It's already imprinted. So when Putin brought that image out, which wasn't a direct, ex um, a direct image, but it would give the, 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 um, the skin tone and everything showing how, who the, who the Israelites were, which were the Negroes, the Latinos, the, the it's like uh, the Negroes, Hispanics, the Native Americans, and the um, and the um, the American Indians, or as you know, the Amerindians, and anybody whose seed line goes back to what Jacob and or oh, the twelve tribe, the, the twelve children of Jacob, they they, they they in order. That is where it goes back to, right? So the description of Yahweh Shai was already met in the Bible which many of you all would like to disprove. Now, it's too late to disprove because the only person that was similar to your complexion 
was Esau. Right now, I talk to the to the to the to the um to Edom. Esau Edom, which is your your so-called white man. So it's too late. The script is already raw. It's already in, 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 the, in the forefront. It's already in the air. You can't try to hide it. You can't get away from it. So your next step will be to what? Discredit and destroy the Bible. Which, as you see, that, that, that video was solid laughter to me today. Right? But let it go. I want, I, I'm using this video to go into Revelations um, 1 and verse 12 to 15, giving the description of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. In the vision of John, right? So let me go into it. Real quick. <laughs> hey, watch me. That make me laugh so hard this morning, eh? Oh, yes, boy. Verses 12, right? It says, And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Right? Let me start over. Let's start at the top. Right? It says, this is the revelation of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the words of, Yah of the Most High and the testimony of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and of, all that, of, and of all things that he saw. Now listen to the scriptures. It says, verse 3, Blessed is he that readeth and heareth the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. And let you get a next precept to back that up. Real simple when you go into, all right, look right here. Right here. We, we could use the look. 11 and 28 it says but he said ye uh, yea rather blessed are they that hear the words of yahweh and keep it verse uh, revelation chapter 20 12 chapter 21 verse 7 it says behold i come quickly Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Because the scripture clearly tells you to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, that's because there's no light in them. And if you believe not in the record, then you have no salvation to receive. I mean, of course, on your next side you will. But on this side you have a debt to face. So clearly, for those who are keeping it, let's start again. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy via the description given as well and keep those things which are written therein. So you must manifest these things. You must teach these things. We must uphold these things. So when I go and read chapter um, um, verses 12 to 15 with given understanding of, 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 um, of, um, of the description, there's no, there's, there's no, common, there's no going back. There's no getting around it. We did not tell Russia to do that. No? This was hiding for a reason. And Russia only used the truth as a weapon against, um, against America. Showing how much lies they were teaching. That's all it is. We knew this already. The children of Israel that in this truth that are called will know these things at this point in time. So anyways, let's continue. Let me read back into verse 12. I turned, I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Let me make sure you're recording, right? And I saw the seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and a girl about the paps with a golden girdle. And guess who that was? Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And then he began to give the description. And his head and his hairs were white like wool. Which goes back into what? Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. Giving the description of the heavenly father. So if that description was met at that time. And he is the son of the living power. He would have similar descriptions. 
So as he continues, his head and his ears were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now I did this and decided to go through some descriptions. Um, some was given from Matthew's Abbot, some was given from my own um, research, which was using the Mera Webster's before, which was introduced by Matthew's Abbot and Abinai, I believe. So, like went it. I screenshot it too, just to get the same understanding, right? So, let me, let me go into this. Let me go into it a little bit, right? You see me laughing here. <laughs> Bruh, I swear. <laughs> hey, that was a good laugh this morning, boy. That was really a good laugh this morning. Alright, this is not even it. It says, um, right. Look at right here. It says, one of the black race of men in Africa or their descendants distinguished by their woolly hair, flat nose, um, here, um, high cheekbones and thick protruding lips. So who is this here naturally um, referenced by or naturally known of to be around? The Negroes, man. The Negroes and the Negroes are not the Hamites. It shows you in separation, even in the, the um the, the Zandavan dictionary. Scripture, I mean, it, it's as clear as day. The definition was the ham, which is the progenitor of the dark race, but the Negroes. The Negroes were also um, brown people, dark skinned people, but it wasn't concerning them. They were different lineage. Ham and we come from the lineage of Shem. That's where the, that's where the Israelites come down from. Not ham. So it's clearly not talking about ham because we are the ones with that comp that that um will text out here. So let's go back into it. Let me read the next one. We just read, let me read the next one. <clears throat> it says, the soft fine hair which covers the sheep, any fine fibers resembling those of wool. Let me read it again. It says, the soft curled hair of a sheep. And other animals closely curled here of Negroes. That Negroes represents the southern tribe. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. But anyways, you know. But we know you would not want to hear that. So let me keep reading on, right? Just to piss people off. To piss Esau. If any Esau ever saw this. Accept reality. Part of life. Let me continue. We read this before. Let me keep going. It says... Uh, no, not this one. Um, should, like, um, right, 1919. It says, The soft and fine curl um, here, which covers the sheep or goat, etc. Thick, crispy, curly hair as of a negro. Do we need to keep reading? Let me keep reading. Woolly hair, which is given by... I think that this was... um. I believe this was Wikipedia. No code man, check it for yourself. I think it's either Wikipedia or something else. I'm sorry. But anyways. Woolly here usually implies in bending um, condition best described as a normal hair with a tight curl which is sometimes um, um, frizzy resembling Negro's hair. Imagine that. Imagine that. Woolly. Let's... We... we Press the word woolly. Woolly head. And it goes what? Nappy. The synonym for woolly is nappy. Having tightly curled hair. What do we just read here? Tight curls. Nappy is woolly. And woolly is nappy. So clearly, your who all your call that or your claim that he is represented in the Bible as JC. This wouldn't look like him, would he? Because he don't have tight curls. Nappy hair. You want to know who has that? Neither do he. He don't have that. Tight. Look at who have that. No, no, no. Let me go back on the image. Look at who has that. That sheep style here. Look at that. 
Take a close look. Because I gotta read more. <laughs> Take a close look, Esau. I know you're vexed. We know you're true. Your ass is grass. Judgment is coming for you. Your Hawasha is going to return and, and destroy all your hard locks. Or you had enough time to pollute the earth. Or your time is nigh. Babylon has fallen. And it will remain fallen. That's all I had to say before you continue reading. So like, like go back now. And his eyes was a flame of fire. And we did this um, already. Should just say what? His eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. You understand? Even though he used to... Um, even though he was called a wine bibber, which we know he was not, by the Pharisees, it was clear as day, regardless. And even so, the description given by John shows you what it is here. And I can give you a picture to give an example, right? As the proper de depiction. If I could get one here. So, like, Elmer, pause. Right? There's multiple from, let's start from here. Let's start from this one, from the top. I don't know if you see any eyes here, no. Right? We'll bypass these. Number one. Number two. <laughs> Number three. Understand? The more you go is the more you realize. Number four. The more you go is the more you realize what he really looks like. And we're not praising the image that you're seeing here. No? We use this as an example as to, as to what... Is shown in scripture. You realize that it's uh, showing you on the video itself. So you could now have an understanding as to what your power looks like. Which is our power. The children of Israel's power. Nobody else is going to receive that salvation but us. Sorry to say. But let's continue. You see that? Oh, it, it has been clearly given. So now let's continue reading. And verses um, 15, and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burnt in a furnace. Now, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Now his feet like unto fine brass as if they burnt in a furnace. Now my question to you, and we always ask this question because it's a silly question. This is more or less back, back, to, more or less going back, back to the basics, but this is a simple question. When you burn something, right? What color is come out? Hmm? I just want to ask a question for those who, you know, wouldn't it come out dark, black, or, or you know, dark? So I want to give an image here to give an example yet again. Right? Brass is on the left side. Burnt brass is on the right side. So if this is burnt brass, and he has nappy white nappy here, burnt brass for skin, which, as you see in here, is dark brown. Wouldn't he not then be a Negro, people? Or do we have to still fight this nonsense? The Messiah doesn't look like this, people. This goes for any new listener that are Jake. Your Messiah doesn't look like this. The description is made clear. He looks like this. This is what he looks like. Or let me make it more clear. Let's go back into the picture. This is what he looks like. Even better. Let, this is what he looks like. There's a difference. He's not, he's not a white man. Sorry. For those who want to praise the white man and, and lick the bottom, you do that on your own accord. Just know you're doing the wrong thing. There's a heathen. There's an idol that you're doing. You're worshipping idols. That's what you're doing. So you could go ahead and do that nonsense. Scripture say what? Learn not the way of the heathens, right? Is not that the heathen that 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 shown in scripture in, in the picture that is depicted as our power that you are worshiping? Time to come out of that nonsense. Only for you new listeners that are, are of Jakes. Anybody else? Esau, Elamites, Moabites, everybody else could kick rocks. I could give a fuck about all you. All these heathens are gonna, are gonna perish regardless. Sorry to say. So this is it right here. The image is. Plain 
to see. So if he's a brown-skinned man, dark brown-skinned man, as we know, so-called black man, right? And he has nappy white hair. Then, as you see in the picture here, eh, he has a perfect picture right there. Let me, let me zoom it in. I'll glad I, if I could. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm able to look at that. Perfect. Perfect, that chat. Perfect. So, <laughs> this is why we put these pictures up to, rem to show y'all who the, our, our, our true power is. Children of Yashura, time to wake up. This bubble needs to cut off. Your many the religion has been found out. Christianity is is, is spoiling y'all. Christianity has been found out because they have been pushing that image right through. And up to this day, they know that this is the true image and they haven't pushed the true image yet. They still push that white image. Showing you that they are false. Come out of the false doctrines. What do the scriptures say? Colossians chapter 2 and verses 8. To the point, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit after the traditions of men and after the rudiment of the world and not, have, uh, not, of, not after Hamashiach. So remember, it said, beware lest any man spoil you. You are being spoiled because you are not receiving the truth. The truth shall make you free. But if you can't receive the truth, then you can never be free. You would always be in this state of bondage, praising the heathens until, until your destruction comes. Come out of that nonsense. It's already, too, it's already too clear. And this is the reason why the heathens operate like that. There's a nice video which I, I, I'll put as well. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's so no. crying because <laughs> the true image came out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <And> the Israelites. <laughs> we're not Esau. The Israelites were not white people. Sorry to say. Yeah. Right? The Israelites were not white people. It, 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 that's, it's what we call reality. Accept it. And that's why I always say to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, that's because there's no light in them. I am not going to be the one to hide this shit from y'all. If, if your Christian church want to continue to hide it and not address it, that they're fucking problem. They remain in the dust. They remain spiritually dead. That's all. I'm not going to hide this shit from y'all. This is the truth, whether you like it or not. The truth has been revealed. What scripture say? What knowledge shall be increased? Or roughly paraphrasing. This is part of the knowledge that has been increased. We know who our power is. We know what he looks like. We know who he's coming to save. You can fight it how much you want. But the reality of it is, when he cracked that sky and come down, and you see the image was similar to what he looks like coming down. I hope. I mean, yeah, it will be too late. But all I could say at that point in time, all our people could say at that point in time, which I believe many of us have it in our spirit to say this, told your dumb ass that. We told your dumb ass that. Now watch it. You. you understand? So please, you have a chance for those who are new listener, listeners. Ho so hopefully, you have a chance. Repent. And come and learn under the true men. Of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is his name. And Yahweh Shai is his son's name. So I hope this <laughs> was <laughs> edifying. It may have been more abrupt, but Yahweh Shai, remember, Yahweh Shai came from out of Judah, the southern kingdom, which were Negroes. Please, let not do that. They were Judah, Benjamin, and Levites. So let not 
be on that BS, please. Come on now. Let me go into Revelation 5, just to make it crystal clear. Matter of fact, let me go for let me go to um, 22 and 16 to lock here. Straight to the point. Make it straight to the point. Which as he himself said, I, Yahweh Shai, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root of Dave of and the offspring of David. So you see what he sent to testify? Listen to it again. I, Yahweh Shai, have sent mine angels to testify unto you these things. I am the root of David. So like yeah. That's if I unto you these things in the churches, I am the root and the offspring of David. And the and the bright and morning star. Title given. I'm the root and the offspring of David. Showing you that he has a seed. Because this goes back into what? Romans. So like yeah. So yeah. So um, as you continue it says. Which goes back into Romans chapter what? 1 and 3. Which we were watching from the beginning. Right? Mm -hmm. Concerning. Oh my goodness. Please. Concerning his son Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Our power. Which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. And we know seed is sperm or sperma, which goes back to a man's sack. And we know, and when you go, and we know, that's how we know that Yahweh Shai, father is Joseph. Because Joseph goes back to the lineage, which, which traces back to what David and how do we know that is his is the seed of it is Joseph's seed? How do we know that? Numbers, straight to the point, chapter one and verses eighteen, if I have it correct. It says, "And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and and they declared their pedigree pedigree means lineage or family line after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from the 20 years and up upwards by their poles so that seed would have been of the sealing of David from Joseph. That is his direct father. It's not from the mother, it's from the father. And they can't get around it. So, I hope this lesson was edifying. <laughs> it was a bit entertaining for me after I watched over the, um, what was sent. It was funny to me, honestly speaking. But this is a description of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ means earth pig in Latin tongue. And, it's, and it goes back to a Serapis Christos. Listen to the word, Serapis Christos. Christos, C-H-R-I-S-T-O-S or U-S, something like that. Which is a mixture of, uh, um, I believe, is Greek and, and Greek and Egyptian God. So you're going to look up that to get more understanding. That has nothing to do with our custom. Neither is the conception. Merkel conception goes back to um, Ishtar coming all the way back up. So we're not doing that nonsense. Should I say learn the way of the heathen? So why would he go against what he say and do the opposite and do exactly the way, the way what the heathens do? Come on, that makes no sense. So, Shalom Yashirala, Kal Halal Yam Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Shalom to the elect, the tabernacle of David, and I'm your boy Kazak saying to you, Shalom.